presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. That and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFMN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Oh, look at that. I got to pick another one. Holy cow. It just dropped. Okay, let's see what we got here. Love is kind and just. When you're in love, a smile is always on your face. You feel good about yourself, and because you are happy, you're always kind. Love is also just. When you make a mistake, you only pay for it once. You only pay once for that mistake. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 83. NASDAQ off 289. S&P's off 46. Gold contract down $5.70, trading at 1821 an ounce. We have silver down $0.07, cents, $23.13 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off 81 cents, $81.83 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up six ticks, trading 128.25. The 30 year up 19 at 156.20 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 112 ticks, trading out at, at 94.803. Euro is at 114. The yen's at 114. The British pound's at 137 to 1 US dollar. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S and P's? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, gonna get pretty cool here. Checking this baby out. Okay, so what do we have? You are down four dollars eighty cents on the spy. We have fifty four million shares traded. Now that's really light volume, folks. Okay, uh, we hit the lows with one hundred nineteen million. We came off those on Tuesday with 74. So I suspect we're going to do 64 into 74. The, the way this is set up, it, it looks to me like you actually can hit the 465. We'll probably do it tomorrow. And we'll probably reject lower price. The queues are going to give us more of an indication of where this market wants to go. The queues lead up, the queues lead down, and right now the queues are going right after the highs of the low. Now, I just did it, okay, as, as we we're coming on the air. So the queues right now are down eight bucks. You get 56 million shares traded. You're going into 91. Now, the way this works, folks, on price and volume, if you don't get the rejection of lower price out here today, which is the 380.64, bottom line, it's going to go right for it tomorrow. That being said, if you're a bull in the marketplace, this is what you actually want. Why? Because what you'll end up getting, more than likely, is that the market will run out of energy. The market's going into a high energy day, meaning last Friday, uh, Monday, rather. And I just can't see the market basically getting another 91 million shares in the queues when today it's going to be about 65. So we'll see where the baby's going to shake out. But that's how that baby is set up. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at gold. Gold's rejected lower price again at 1811 today. You're trading 1821. Bottom line, this wants higher price in a big way, not in a small way either. This just came down. Came against the strength from Tuesday, saying, okay, I want higher price. And if we go over to the good old U.S. dollar, the U.S. dollar says it all. Because, because what we had with the U.S. dollar is this. U.S. dollar broke the consolidation yesterday, broke it in spades. We are at 94.809 in the beginning where the dollar went topside. Okay, so this is where we go. The highs of 
the lows where we went topside, meaning the day of strength, which was November 10th, is 94,903. Well, we just got into that by 100 ticks. If it stays in it, it's going to go to the bottom of that, which is 91,967. If we get the same kind of movement that we got yesterday on the way down to that level, bottom line, this thing will get all the way down to 90, uh, the next one is 91,4. Now, 91. 947. And that's, that's, a, that's a decent move. And you can see that the correlation is pretty clear. When you take a look at the correlation, we go over to the euro. You're going to see the euro broke, broke top side after, after the consolidation. We go take a look at the, the British pound. British pound has been strong anyway. And the bottom line is that you had follow through inside the British pound. You know, the low on the British pound, uh, bottom line, you know, you go back three weeks ago, was 131. You're at 137. This pound is, wants to get up to the 139. And then the yen, the yen is also cooperating with us. The yen is getting stronger. What you have with the yen, the yen's down 56 ticks right now. We are trading at a price point of 114. That is saying that the yen wants to run down into this level of 112.53. Let's go to Earl and Seminole. Hey, Earl, what's going on? Hey, Tommy. How you doing, How man? You doing? I'm doing great, hey. man. Yourself? Yeah, I want to have you take a look at uh, IEF. IEF. Uh, I think it made a nice move today. It's at the bottom from what I see, and uh, I like it long from here. Okay, let's take a look. So the IEF is the 7 to 10 year Treasury bond ETF. Okay, so 113.30. Yeah, I mean you can you can trade this. This looks to me like you can get one fifteen thirty nine out of it. It's going to try That's to it's going to try to break back yeah, inside I'm this looking. range. I'm sorry, what'd you say, Earl? I say that's what I'm looking for. It looks like it uh, could go right back up to that area. I where where I'm going with this is the lows of the high. You see that bar there on the December third. That's where that baby yeah. can get to. So let, let's go and take a look at this 10-year, because I talked about this at the, at the beginning of the program. So if we take a look at the 10-year, uh, GC, let's get the, what you're going to see is that the 10-year folks, as well as the 30, at, that had broken, and it's 128.22. Yeah, look at that. So the 10-year just got back inside his range. When that, when that happens, folks, the bottom line is that it's get back inside his higher range, and guess what? It's saying that it wants to go to higher price. Yeah, so this is a good setup, man. The 30-year had already got back inside the higher range, and I know this is bizarre because the, the fact that it matters, we know the Fed's going to go up. But that Fed going up, <laughs> uh, the bond and note market are saying they're not going to go up as fast as market as markets may think. So, yeah, I think you get some action there, Earl. Yeah, I like it as a uh, hedge in case we have a downdraft. Exactly. Now that's that. That's a fact. That's a fact, man. Cooking, brother. Thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 89. NASDAQ is off 303. S&Ps are off 48. And let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You have Advanced Micro down 376. Uh, Virgin Galactic. Oh, we're going to talk about that. Tom was talking about that as a program this morning. This Virgin Galactic deal, man, they have burnt through cash in an extraordinary way. Uh, people in losses in an extraordinary way. Well, here, well, let's do it right now. So you get Virgin Galactic, right? The, this is a spark, folks, okay? Sparks start trading at $10, right? The high for the last 12 months is $62.80. The low is $10. Now watch this. This is where this gets really wild. Okay, so uh, it looked to me like August. What? No, he, they, they came out. Oh, I know that would happen. Okay. Okay, so they went public. Um... At 10 bucks. That's Sparks always come by public at 10 bucks. It seems like, I don't remember, 17. But anyway, they're saying September of uh, 2017. They did a secondary at $19.50. That was in August of 2020. But I remember specifically, well, in fact, let's do it this way, that you had... Uh, I guess I have to do it a different way. When this thing, what's, let me see, under management, under management, oh, this is interesting, under management, you don't even have, uh, so this is interesting, under, under management, you don't even have the, um, the guy who runs Virgin Air, he's not even in here, but yet, he definitely, let me do it this way, though, because he was, de he, was selling, he was selling equity, folks, when this thing was at highs. Let me just see if I can find him for a second, okay? And either that or he sold too many stock shares. Let's see. Uh, okay, to make, to make an long story short, the bottom line is that they're burning through cash. The amazing part is that they're, yeah, Branson, that's what I was looking for. Thank you, Jeff. Um, the amazing thing here is this, is that it, it's amazing to me that they, they, they're, 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 this, they're pushing out today uh, a half billion dollars worth of bonds, folks, okay? <laughs> and it's like, okay, yeah, uh, they got a convertible offering, so let's see with that. Okay, so $425 million, uh, convertible offering, let's see. The company plans to offer convertible senior notes 
due in 2027, so they're five-year notes. Um, let's see what they have inside them. Well, it doesn't say. But the bottom line is that people have lost a fortune on this thing. That's, that's the bottom line. I mean, we take a look at this. It's just the last six months. Last six months, we just went from 35 to 10. And I believe that it topped, it topped right out uh, well, 52. Topped out at 52 when they did that uh, flight up till, uh, you know, the right outside the atmosphere. And then it's been a one-way route all the way down, 57, and now you're $10. And they are telling the market, this is what's amazing. Um, yeah, that if, there's a question, what happens if the bond, if they go bankrupt, what happens to the bonds? That's why I was trying to look at the aspect of exactly what the bonds were all about. Yeah, they're losing money far into the future. I, I just don't have that bond offering right in front of me. But that's what you gotta find out. What you always gotta find out, folks, what it's secured with. More than likely, I would say that this bond offering is probably a, like a subprime loan in real estate in 2007. It's probably running out maybe 10, 11% they're paying with no collateral. That's the thing with public companies, which blow my mind, is that people will be willing to basically get two to three, you know, 100 basis points. Uh, 100 basis points is 1%, okay? They will go for that for some reason, and, you know, it's, it's not a thing to go. There's no collateral. There's no nothing. So I, I suspect that's what they will, will overnight. There'll, there'll, there'll be something out here that we can grab as to what exactly they are paying, number one, and that'll give us an idea of uh, exactly um, how much they need this money to go forward. So it's pretty intense. We go take a look at, uh, let's go to NVIDIA, NVDA. So NVIDIA, off its highs, big time. You're coming back into the swing low for Monday. And thus far, you have not rejected lower price. That swing low... The top of the low is uh, 274. The, the low is uh, 256. When you get this far into a bar, folks, okay, the bottom line, your probability goes much higher that you're going to go to the bottom of the bar. Right now, we're already into that bar by, you know, six points. So that's saying it wants to go to the bottom of the bar. You're, that bar had 59 million. You've already done 45. That's coming into the bar with some volume. That's the real bottom line. That's how, that's how that shakes out. Uh, the QLD, a couple of targets want to take a look at the QLD. The, oh, QLD, interesting. Oh, QLD. QLD. That's so weird. I put QLD up. Oh, I see what I did. I didn't put QLD. I put OLD. Okay, so QLD. QLD is the... Uh, okay, so... This is the exchange traded fund uh, that seeks the daily investment of twice the daily performance of the NASDAQ 100. And so, let's see. Yeah, no, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be going shot this, no. Because you, you're... Oh, I see what you're saying. You go shot this and then you buy it back. Yeah, I see that this, this gets a little confusing. Okay, you know, I, I can see that. It, it, it's already into the 81.34, and you know, if you're trying to get it back, you're gonna beg, you buy it back at 76 or something. 76.60 is the low uh, that we got generated on Monday, you know? So, and what I, do, what I do expect we're gonna see, folks, you're gonna see lighter volume out here tomorrow. You know, so if we continue to go south tomorrow, and go into those lower prices and you reject lower price, bottom line, that just flips it right around again and says it wants to go to the higher price. We go take a look at the silver market. Silver out here right now, the March silver, that's down nine cents today. Silver went topside again yesterday. Had some juice behind it. Not bad out here. It's, not, it's staying right at the highs. You know, you had 49,000 contracts. I think we did 53 yesterday. Let's see. Fifty-five, and you get forty-nine now. That's 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 good. That's that's staying at the top of the trend, top of the consolidation. You stay at the top of the consolidation. That says that thing can get up to seventy-five. 
Uh, we get a question about why is the, uh, the pound? Let's see, one second. Yeah, why the pound, the British pound? The British pound has been off the bottom for quite some time. Uh, the, if we take this, let, let's take a look at this British pound and put this on a weekly. I'm going to put it on a three-year weekly. And, you know, we had gone down from uh, June of 2021 until about six weeks ago. This is saying that the pound's going back to 142. That's a decisive break of a downtrend. On top of that, this very well could be a monster ABC up that would uh, bring, it, bring it a lot higher. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 72. NASDAQ is uh, off uh, 287. S&Ps are off 45. So check this story out, folks. This is, in, this is no doubt intense. Uh, okay, let me pull up Tesla first. It's an easier way of doing it. Now... This story is not about Tesla's, uh, here it is, software, but evidently, here, let me go through it first. A teen cyber prodigy stumbled upon a flaw letting him hijack Teslas. So this guy here, he started programming when he was 10 years old. He's from Germany, okay, David Colombo, 19-year-old cybersecurity researcher in Germany, uh, came upon his biggest discovery of his young career by accident. He was performing a security audit for a French company when he noticed something unusual, a software program on the company's network that exposed all the data about the chief technologies office, officer's Tesla vehicle. 
The data included a full history of where the car had been driven and the price precise location at the moment. You know, we, we see a lot of companies that do that, okay? You know, so if the company cars, it looks to me like what happened here is that the company itself put another piece of software on top of this to track the cars wherever they were. So check this out. This is sick, though. But that wasn't all. The, as uh, Colombo dug deeper, he realized that he could push commands to Tesla vehicles whose owners were using the program. That capability enabled him to hijack some functions on those cars, including opening and closing the doors, turning up the music, and disabling security features. He could not take over the car's steering, braking, or other operations. The discovery, which Colombo published on Twitter this week, triggered, of course, uh, <laughs> a huge discussion online as a, the latest example of hijacking, of, of hacking risk associated with the so-called Internet of Things, where seemingly every product, from refrigerators to doorbells, now have an Internet connection. I'm not sure if I would send that tweet again, he said, who's started a program, the response is crazy. Somewhere in the comments, I have pro and anti Tesla arguing very heatedly. I just got, it just got blown up so much. The thing that's really wild, folks, is that, uh, <laughs> could you imagine, you know, you're in the Tesla, someone opens the door and you don't even know it, right? I mean, <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, that's, this is, we're, we're in a whole different age. There's, there's no doubt about that. Let's go take a look at Amazon because Amazon's been in this consolidation uh, with the markets going south. Bottom line, looks like Amazon's going Amazon's to test now. Let's take a look at this because Amazon's been in this consolidation. I mean, look, look at this consolidation. Amazon has been in a consolidation since J July of 2020, folks, okay? You're coming down. Now, this, is, this is the bar that's sticking out. The bar that's sticking out, it's not even sticking out that bad, really. This, no, that's, that's a better bar. Well, that's the first one. That's 2870. The second bar is 2881. Okay, this is good. And the third bar is 3126. Okay. So the, the two bars that you're going to keep your eye on here go like this. It's, uh, it's um, the week of September 25th and 2020. As well as June, I mean March fifth of twenty twenty one. Now I expect they're going to get down to those levels again. You know, we, thus far we we'll got down to thirty one twenty six. The last low prior to that is twenty eight eighty one, and it's twenty eight seventy one prior to that. So I expect we'll at least test the lower level. Now, if you get that test and you get a rejection of lower price, this is where you might want to be looking on Amazon. Um, because what, what Amazon does have, the last two highs are pretty good, meaning with price and volume also. You have volume up there. Not a huge amount, but you, you got more, heavier volume than on the way down. That's the, the, the correlation is that this thing still does want to go higher. So, and if that's what you get, what you, what, you know, would very well may be happening with Amazon is this might have set up a, like a 1900 A to B. And if that's the case... You're going to go uh, like the 4,700 or something. The last high is 3,700. So if you get the break with volume, you can see you get the first leg up. You get a huge consolidation. The consolidations, of course, that is the B to C, which drives everyone out of their mind when you get an ABC structure on the way up all the way down. Uh, in this particular case, that was set up, and we'll see where the rest of this is going to take us. We go take a look at, uh, is it, uh, let's see, is it Bank of America who's kicking us off here? Banks are kicking us off. Bank of America, that's on the 19th, I don't even know next week. WFC, Wells Fargo. Okay, so Wells Fargo's tomorrow. That's what's going on. So we take a look at Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo's at an all-time high right now for the year, last 12 months. Uh, the low out here, this is a breakout. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, this is a monster ABC up. Look at this. Man. Holy cow. 48. Man, 21, 31, 41. 47. It's 86. Let me see. Uh, this looks like, it's, it looks like, this looks like 86. The high, all-time high is 66. There's something to keep your eye on. I know Wells Fargo is vicious, man, but the bottom line is that um, 
that, that number is basically sticking out there. Let's go to the GDX and take a look at the GDX. Uh, the GDX out here right now, the low for the year in the GDX is 28. The high is 40. Right now, it's trading 31.33. And, you know, you're pulling back with light volume. This is building costs for higher price. You can see yesterday, you go, you go up with 19, you're backing down with 11. Yeah, this is, this is a decent setup. That's saying that this is still wanting to go to higher price. What is going to be intriguing here is how we're going to come into this Friday. That, that's the real bottom line. Um, and, you know, one of the targets is talking about the Fed still have an asset side restriction on Wells Fargo. Uh, I don't think it will limit it upside. The reason being, I heard the number this morning. So the number, listen to this number, man. This isn't crazy. If the short-term rates go up 1%, which the Fed's going to put them up 1%, which is, you know, basically four one-quarter hikes, that Bank of America, Wells Fargo, without doing anything, take in $5.1 billion, just from the amount of money that they have in the bank. And they're taking that in from the net interest of the amount of money that's spread that's already in the bank. So you talk about... Uh, a great little deal, folks, okay? That is, you know, monster money uh, in two seconds that, you know, bottom line, as the short-term rates go up, that's what they'll do. Because you got to remember something. The way banks run, they have our money, number one. They don't pay any interest, okay? So the bottom line, they make gobbles of money on the interest, and then you got to X that times 10 because the bottom line, that's their leverage. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it, just to do the math quick, Watch how this goes. You give them $1,000, they can lend out 10000 So we give them $1,000, and let's just say we, we can make, you know, 1%, which the bank's not paying 1%, but let's say we make 1%. Give them 1000 bucks. bottom line, we, we get 10 bucks, right? And you get the 10 bucks, okay? They lend out 10000 and they lend 10 dollars and I'll just make it 10000 Let's say they lend out 10000 at 6%. Okay, guess what? Bottom line is that... <laughs> They just they just paid a dollar, right? Or they paid ten dollars, and they just made six hundred. That's that's the banker. Well, six hundred would have been six percent, five percent. is still ten dollars to five hundred. What is that? That's still four ninety. So it's a monster number. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Dow Industrials right now down one thirty four. Nasdaq's down three twenty. S and P's around fifty five. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 125. We get the NASDAQ off uh, 325. S&Ps are off 53. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here. Uh, Point-wise, this is where we stand out here inside the Dow right now. You got uh, Boeing putting 38 positive points, Caterpillar 24, Walmart 11, Honeywell 9. Taken away from it. Microsoft's the big number there. Minus 79 points. Salesforce minus 58, United Health 33. Uh, and so that's that's not some there's there's some small numbers actually you know and well this this small numbers inside the NDX 100 let's take a look at what we have here inside the NDX the winners uh, you got Biogen uh, up four and a half percent Pace Car is up two and a half percent Booking Holdings is up one percent taken away from it Zscaler man this is getting killed on seven point eight percent you get Lucid off seven point eight percent. You got uh, Datadog off uh, 7%. You got Peloton off 7%. Some of these hits, man. And <laughs> it's like one day, 7%. This is like intense. And Peloton, evidently, this is going to take the next leg down. So let's take a look at this. So Peloton, you got the low out here is 32. We hit 32.07. Yeah, you're coming into these lows with volume, man. This is, this is trouble in paradise. Let me see what this is looking like. So this is going all the way back. We're at 32. Yeah, 28. Oh, what's that one there? That's 32. Oh, see what it's doing right here. This is interesting. So it's trying to hang tough, folks, at where it did break topside from. $32.07 is the number. And oh, believe it or not, we hit $32.07 today. So the way this goes fundamentally is this. Well, technically... Markets love to go back to breakout areas. The real question is, after you were trading at like 160, 171, then all of a sudden you go back to the original breakout area. It's like, that's what stops are all about, folks. And, you know, some of these growth companies you don't want to get married to, what you want to do is stay on top of it, and you get a nice run like that, take your bread, and then, you know, get out of town. Uh, in this particular case, we're coming right back. If, if this... If this can't handle the $32.07, the bottom line is that's going to go to $17. So that's, I mean, it's already been a vicious hit. The real question is where you're going to get the new people coming in. And if we take a look at their numbers, their numbers, they're going to be looking to do uh, $1.2 in the next quarter. And as far as you can, you have to go out to the third quarter of 2023 in order for them to make money. And I suspect when you're talking about something like this, they have problems, man. <laughs> they have big problems. That's, that's the way that that baby is set up. Uh, <coughs> a couple of, of the others, let's see, Peloton, AMC, oh, look at this, they're all, they're all coming back. AMC, this is, this, this took a long time, but the bottom line is that these babies are coming back to earth. You know, AMC, it just, it, you know, it's amazing. The CEOs the, and the people that are working for AMC, they must, just every single time they were selling into the marketplace, they must have just been in awe. You know, because AMC, right now, it's, it, it's, it's down from a price point of 72. You're at $20, and it was a huge amount of folks that bought this 
in between like the $32 and the $39 because it, it had basically consolidated over such a long period of time. Breaks down, next stop is $12.37. You break that, guess what? The next stop is $3.85. And, you know, there's no reason to not think that it can't go there because the, the market, they're losing money hand over fist. I mean, they're losing $5.61 per share. <laughs> and they have uh, 514 million shares outstanding. So that, that says quite a bit. Let's go see what else we have in, inside of this. You got uh, Carnival's up. Microsoft's down big. Look at Microsoft, man. Microsoft's saying it all, actually. Microsoft's down 12 and a half bucks. Okay, so this tells us quite a bit about where we're going. So see what's happening with Microsoft? Whoever is unloading Microsoft, folks, they are unloading it hand over fist. Watch this. I'm going to be able to pull this up. It won't tell me who, but you're going to see these trades are going to be way too large for you and me. Okay, so you got $305 stock. Look at all these sales. $26,000, $35,000. Don't use the first one. That's just the open. But $21,000, $20,000, $18,000. So you just do $18,000 times you know, $300. These are all funds, man, and they're moving out of Microsoft. And what you're going to see here, and I suspect this one here is, is really, you know, as a f any fund, and most funds are definitely fundamentalist. They, once Nadella sold half of his position at the highs, you know, that says a huge amount about where Microsoft wants to go. You know, it, bottom line is it looks to me like you got, uh, you're at 305.73, you're breaking down the 306, that's where we went topside. That's going to lay out uh, 280 for Microsoft, and we'll see where it shakes out. I mean, Microsoft really could take a hit. Microsoft came back to 242 in a heartbeat. In fact, if you go like this, if we're really going to be in a correction, watch this. This is where this gets really dicey. The last leg up, which started in March, you know, when we had the COVID, a 0 .382 retracement is 267. It went straight up, you know, it consolidated for a bit, then went straight up. So you're talking about a big number here, man. There's no doubt. Netflix, NFLX. Let's see what we got with Netflix out here. Netflix out here. This is breaking a B point. This is breaking with volume, I think. Uh, I have to do another million to break it with volume. But Netflix is on its way down to, what, 507. You're at 519. That's yeah, back to its consolidation. So we're at, and if you want to see that the, you talk about inflation, folks, and you talk about the amount of money that is running around the marketplace. Let me see if I can find this. Uh, here it is, right here. So in two years, Dan Ark, okay, sold his Manhattan apartment for 190 mil million. That's two years after buying it at 95 million, folks. Okay, the penthouse, 220 Central Ave. Central Park South. Um, he bought it in 2019. Uh, he had moved then from New York to Florida for tax purposes. Bottom line, you know, <laughs> this is showing you the amount of money. You don't, you don't double. Well, he did double. He did double his money in two years. And that's just telling me that the amount of money that is around is extraordinary, uh, and they got to put it somewhere. And, you know, bottom line, um, many of them are basically putting it into real estate, you know, because where, where else, uh, you know, it, a hard asset. That's, that's the bottom line. And, but that is, that is an extraordinary number. There's no doubt about that. You're talking about make, making $95 million. So what is that? That's almost making, it's just under making a million dollars a week for two years, right? 52, yeah. But it's probably, we probably, that's 900. There we go. It's making 900,000 a week for two years. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. They're hammering this market, man. You get the S&Ps down 68. You get the NASDAQ uh, off uh, 374. Dow's off 228. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpen
sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, markets. Markets are in the red, uh, selling off here. We have the Dow right now down, uh, let's see, if, where are you? Dow. Down five tenths of one percent. S&Ps are down 1.2% and the NASDAQ is down 2.4%. Now check this out. If you guys, if anyone has a small business out here, this is a, this is a big heads up, man, because you're going to be getting a lot of farms. And if you remember, okay, so this is what's going on. It's harder to hide from the IRS if you're a small business, okay? So starting this month, right now, folks, okay, you, it, this won't affect you until you, you do your taxes next year, but you better pay attention to this. Because starting this month, users selling goods and services through Venmo, SD, Airbnb, they're going to be receiving tax forms if the payment's more than $600. So bottom line, and this is what the change is. The change, the threshold before this was $20,000 or 200 transactions. The bottom line, that's all changed. Um, unfortunately, the, they're going to have to small business, and uh, it is what it is. But pay attention to it, folks, if you happen to do business through those apps because what you got, are going to end up with at the end of the year, you're going to end up with a tax form and that tax form better match with you are saying that you're making, you know, and there's just another indication. And this is the sickest part about it is that the richer you are, the easier it is to basically evade paying taxes, even legally. Okay. Um, that is just another indication that, uh, the IRS, they're going after small businessmen. I mean, in a big way. That, so I, I'd love to know. This just came across the Bloomberg. I'd love to know where this got snuck in because this is the first time I heard about it. 
you know, not that we do, we don't do business in those things, but I'm just saying there's plenty of people that are doing, you know, a second job and, you know, you're doing business through that. And don't, and, you know, you get one of these farms from those companies, make sure you pay your taxes. That's the bottom line. <laughs> That's the real bottom line. So it's a heads up. Market wise out here, this is also a heads up. So let's go take a look at the SPY and see what we have out here. The SPY right now, that's uh, gonna close at the lows. Uh, we're gonna go after that low tomorrow. That's what it looks like. And you know, that's actually bullish, you know? So we've done 74 million, you're coming into 115 million. If we go into the NDX 100, uh, what you have out here is that that baby's done uh, 70 million and we're going into 91. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Yeah, look at him, folks. Building wealth.